An attempt is to be made to complete the fastest ever circumnavigation of the globe. The Company 85 Global Challenge team intends to cover 24,000 miles in less than 50 days using a purpose-built 90-foot powerboat with a top speed of nearly 50 knots. Andrew, it's a, it's a very impressive construction behind you. Perhaps you can tell me a little bit about it. It's a fully welded aluminium structure. It's made from aluminium grade, marine grade 5083. It's all fully welded and it's designed more as a structure than a vessel. But obviously it's going to float. Uh, we've tried to make it as strong as we can to withstand all the forces it's going to impound as it goes around the world. So sort of how much aluminium would you use in a construction like this? There's approximately 12 tonne of aluminium in this vessel. Overall, it is 24.4 metres long and 3.6 metres wide. It's going to be in the region of 45 tonnes when it's fully laden with fuel. Right here we're at the stern, this is where the engine bay is. There'll be two 550 horsepower Fiat powertrain engines in there coupled up to Castaldi jet drives. And that's where all the power is going to come from. If they're not running at maximum power, they're derated so that they can run continuously. The next section along is the rear cabin, that's going to be a full berth cabin, uh, basically just for the guys to sleep underway, because at the rear, that's where hopefully it won't be as rough. And obviously it's going to be travelling mammoth distances, so I'm, I'm sure it's going to need a huge amount of fuel. Yes, the, the intention is that it can carry 30,000 litres of fuel. And it's a rib construction, could you tell us a little bit about how that would work? As well, a rib or rigid inflatable boat basically means that the boat has got its own life jacket in there, it's an inflatable tube around the life jacket. So if for any reason the boat gets into difficulty, it's got a second line of defence uh, created by the buoyancy tubes. What sort of performance are you hoping? What sort of speeds do you need to achieve? We need to achieve in the region of 22 knots, that's all as an average. Uh, we're hoping that the top speed it's been worked out to be in the region of 47. Uh, and when it's fully laden, it's, it will hopefully be reaching at 15. And it's going to be strong enough to put up with all those uh, rough seas, is it? Yes, well, the general design is that it goes under or through the waves. The bow will, instead of trying to burst through waves, it should go under the waves. Uh, that's what it's designed to do. The current world record is 61 days, but British ocean adventurer Alan Pretty, previous winner of 37 world boating records, is confident he and his team can do better.